So we are going to be looking at systems of equations, and that's when you have more than one equation and more than one variable. So our solutions, if we have two equations and two variables, are going to be ordered pairs that make both equations true. Here's an example from a word problem that you might see that goes with this style of system. So they are both in standard form. We have the X, the Y, then the equal sign. So elimination is going to be the preferred method there. And that's where we use addition to eliminate a variable. Quick review on the very simple ones here. Should already know how to do these. Again, we're going to use addition here and just add straight down. Negative 2x plus 4x, negative 3y plus 3y, and 21 minus 27. We just add straight down. Next up. We notice that the y's were eliminated. There's zero of them. So we're just left with 2x equals negative 6. We want to find out what x equals. So we'll divide by 2. And we get negative 6 divided by 2 makes negative 3. So there's our x value. Next up, find the y value. So just choose either of these two equations, whichever one looks easiest. And that's one you can use to find the other variable. So let's use the red one here, the top one. We're going to replace the x with what it's equal to, in this case, a negative 3. Now we do simplify. Negative 2 times negative 3. Now we have a two-step equation trying to get y by itself there. So subtract 6 to both sides, and we're left with negative 3y equals 21 minus 6 is 15. Divide by negative 3, and you end up with uh, 15 divided by negative 3 is a negative 5. So there's the ordered pair that makes both of these equations true, the solution. So let's go ahead and solve this system by elimination or addition we're going to start by just adding straight away we normally do the first addition in our head and you'll see why in a second 5x minus 2x's makes 3x's negative 5y negative 3y makes negative 8y when being added and 15 minus 16 is negative 1 so if you notice none of the variables were eliminated so we are going to be thinking multiplication here so looking at the x's we have a positive and a negative, and if we could get them to be tens, a positive 10 and a negative 10, then when we added straight down, the x's would be eliminated. So let's go ahead and do that strategy here. So in order to make the x's tens, we're going to have to take this top equation and multiply it by 2, and we'll have to multiply the bottom equation by a 5. Okay, and that's going to make a positive 10x and a negative 10x here and here. So let's do that. So 2 times 5 makes 10x's. 2 times negative 5y is negative 10y. And then 15 times 2 makes 30. Now for the bottom equation. Here we go. 5 times negative 2x's makes negative 10x's. 5 times negative 3y makes negative 15y's. And 5 times negative 16 is going to make negative 80. So now we can add 10x's minus 10x's, 0x's. They have been eliminated, negative 10y and negative 15y being added, negative 25y. And then we have 30 minus 80 to make negative 50. So x's were eliminated. So now for solving for y, we need to undo this negative 25 being multiplied with a divide by negative 25 to both sides. So now we have 1y equals negative divided by negative is positive 50 divided by 25 is a 2 so we found that the y value of the solution is going to be a 2 next up find the x so for finding the other value for the other variable, we do need to choose which equation would be best to use we are using the original equations not the new ones we made before and for this case here, I think the top equation will be easier. It has less negatives in it. And we're just going to replace the y with what it's equal to with a value we found for y already. So there we go. Now, clean this up a little bit. We do have a negative 5 times 2 there. So 5x, negative 5 times 2 is a minus 10 equals 15. Now we have a two-step equation. We want to go from 5x minus 10 to just x equals. So we got to undo the times by 5 and the minus 10. We'll start by undoing minus 10 with a plus 10 to both sides. So now we have a 5x plus 0 
equals 15 plus 10 is 25. Next up, go from 5x to x. So we're going to divide by 5 to both sides to undo this multiply by 5 here. So we got 1x right there. 25 divided by 5 makes 5. So the ordered pair that makes both equations true, our solution is 5 comma 2, 5 for the x and 2 for the y. Here we go, solving by elimination. So if we were going to eliminate the y's on this system here, now if we added straight down, we would eliminate no variables. We'd have a 6x and a 1y there, or a negative 1y there. So let's look at eliminating the y's. So we would want to make them a positive 20 and a negative 20 here. So we would take that top equation and multiply it. Again, we're making positive 20 and negative 20. We'd have to multiply this by five and then multiply this bottom one by a four and that would give us a positive 20 and a negative 20. So here we go, top equation first. Five times two for the x's be 10x. Uh, 4y times five makes a positive 20y and then 12 times five makes 60. Now for the bottom equation, again, we're going to multiply by 4. That was our plan. 4 times 3x's makes 12x's. Negative 5y times 4 makes negative 20y. And then we have a 7 times 4 to make 28. Now at this stage, we could just go ahead and add and keep solving. But let's look here if we wanted to eliminate the x's. So if we wanted to eliminate the x's, we would want them to be opposite. So one a positive and the other one a negative. So we would have to do sixes for these two here because that's the least common multiple between the x's. Again, this 20 over here, that was the least common multiple between the 4 and the 5. So this would be a 6. So we'd have to take this top equation, multiply it by a 3 so that we'd end up with positive 6x's and then the bottom equation we'd have to multiply by a negative 2 because remember we want them to be opposites okay so here we go so we're going to do 3 times 2x makes 6x and then 3 times 4y makes 12y and then 3 times 12 to make 36. Now the bottom equation, again, our plan was multiply by negative 2. So negative 2 times 3x makes negative 6x. Negative 5y times negative 2 makes a plus 10y. And then 7 times negative 2 to make negative 14. Now if we were to add, we would go ahead and be able to uh, eliminate the x's. So at this point here, you can choose uh, either do the x's or the y's. We're going to go with the y's. So here we go. Solving for the y's, we're just going to go ahead and add straight down. So we have 10x's plus 12x's makes 22x's. 20y's minus 20y's, 0y's, and 60 plus 28 is going to make 88. The y's were eliminated. So now to get x by itself, we're going to divide 22 to both sides. So we just have a 1x written right there. 88 divided by 22 is going to make 4. So the value for the x's is a 4. Next up, let's find the value for the y variable. Now again, we are trying to identify which of these two equations looks easier to use. I would just go with the top one. It's got no minuses or negatives. So that way, we're, I'm less likely to make a calculation error there. Now we're going to replace the x with what it's equal to for this system it's a 4 so we can go and do that multiplication there uh, 2 times 4 makes 8 plus 4y equals 12. now we want to go from 8 plus 4y just a plain old y equals so let's get rid of or undo this 8 with a minus 8 so we have 0 plus 4y makes 4y 12 minus 8 makes 4 to undo the 4 we're going to divide by 4 to both sides so we just have a 1y right there 4 divided by 4 makes 1 so the value for the y on this system is going to be a 1 so our solution 4 comma 1. so remember when solving systems by elimination we do want to make sure that the coefficients are opposites so that way when we add straight down we eliminate a variable some equations you can just start by adding straight down some equations you might have to multiply by one of the equations and leave the other equation alone but in the examples that we did here we had to multiply both equations